Okay, this is Fiverr, one of our American does. We have three rabbits and they're all American does. They're all blue. There are three colors that the American does come in, black and blue and white. Um, however, the blue and the white are really the only recognized colors in the American Rabbit Breeders Association. And the black is used to get all of the white out of the, um, out of the fur in the blue rabbits. So, Fiber is pretty new to the farm. Um, and we're doing their first health checkup. So we got them in, I believe it was the end of September, early October. And so they are about, uh, they were two months when we got them. So they're about five, six months now. And um, they're maturing, and so we need to um, definitely do a health checkup. So what I'm gonna be doing today is um, clipping nails, and also I'm going to be um, looking in the ears and making sure we are preventing any mites, ear mites. Whenever you have a number of rabbits living together, you have a higher chance of getting ear mites in your rabbits. And so you really want to make sure you stay on top of that. Um, and what you can do is just look inside the ears. And if you see any little crusty bits building up, you want to be sure and add a little couple of drops, one or two drops of mineral oil. And that is just going to suffocate out any mites that have tried to make a home in there. And um, then you come back again in two weeks and make sure that it's clearing out nicely and maybe add one or two more drops of mineral oil. Um, and with the nails, you just really want to make sure that they're not getting too long because what happens when rabbit's nails get long is they'll break off and they might break off at a point where it injures the rabbit and it will bleed and it might get infected. So. We clip the nails down to what's called the quick, and that's it. Um, you don't want to clip past the quick, and you can usually see it if they have light colored nails. Um, these rabbits actually have um, a mixture of translucent and dark colored nails, so it is a little bit more tricky, but you just clip off all that white part, and that'll be, and that'll be where you stop. Um, and don't go any further because it's very hard to tell where that quick is on a dark nail. So we have a box where we keep all of our rabbit stuff. It's clear so you can see what's in it. That's very helpful in storing things and organizing things. Uh, we have extra water bottles, um, some mineral oil, and um, some nail clippers. With the mineral oil, we have a dropper. You can buy this in the infant section um, at Walmart or um, your local farmer feed or tractor supply will also have it. You can use cat nail clippers or small dog nail clippers. It's okay. And um, the best way to do this is to keep them calm. And she had been running around in her run for a little while, so that's really good too. So she's already kind of let out a little bit of energy for the day. And what you can do to calm them down is you pet their ears back and along the bridge of their nose. So especially along the bridge of their nose calms them down. So first I'm just going to check in the ears. And I only noticed just a little bit of crusty bits in one of her ears, so I'm only going to do one ear today. And then I'll check back in a couple of weeks and make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. Hey, it's OK. Come here. Good girl. You're a good girl. Fiverr is our sweetest and most sociable rabbit. She comes right to the door when you open her cage. And um, she wants to say hi, she wants to get pet. And the other two are a little bit shy still, but 
Uh, we're working on socializing them. So. Yeah. So you can kind of like move the oil around in the ear. She might get uncomfortable and um, shake her head a little bit, but that's especially why you don't want to put too much of the mineral oil in the ear. So just because it's just such a little bit, I'm only gonna put one drop today. And like I said, this other side really doesn't look bad at all. I haven't been able to see any crusty bits in the side of here. So um, we'll just leave this one. Yeah, that looks normal. Okay, that part's done. <laughs> now for the hard part, clipping the nails. Um, that really is um, gonna be interesting because this will be the first time they've had their nails clipped, I believe. Um, I don't think, well, she may have cut them. when. Um, because our rabbits get time to run around and dig in the dirt, um, their nails are a little bit shorter. If you keep your rabbit caged, you're definitely going to want to check the nails more, more frequently. Don't jump down from there. Rabbits are not going to want to jump down from any height. They could really injure themselves if they did that. <laughs> so. It is actually really um, much easier to do this on a table because they are less likely to jump. Um, if you were to sit down low on a chair, they'll probably jump off of you um, if you're not experienced with holding them and keeping them calm. So I'm gonna see how she does here. Um, because we've been handling these rabbits, she'll probably do okay. Uh-oh. She didn't like that. Okay. Oh, she nibbled me. Don't you nibble me. Don't you nibble me. And what I do when I'm cutting the nails is I really just cut off little tiny pieces at a time. Um, and that goes back to uh, the reason that I do that is that goes back to um, the quick. So um, if you do big chunks at a time, you're more likely to um, hit the quick. And so to avoid that, to avoid stressing the rabbit by um, possibly uh, clipping off a little bit of that nerve, um, um, we really want to just focus on clipping just a little bit at a time. And uh, if they do, if you do clip off the quick, you know, you don't have to stress too much. It will bleed and it might um, need to be, you know, put a little saline solution on there or hydrogen peroxide um, for a couple of days, but it will heal up. Um, I've never had a rabbit that, you know, the quick got clipped and it didn't heal from it. So you just need to watch it for a little minute and make sure that you try not to do that. So I'll show you just like what I clipped off of her nail. Don't jump off of there. <laughs> She's thinking about it. Um, little bits at a time like that. just getting a little pedicure so you know if you do this often they'll get used to you doing it and touching their feet and you really do need to do it because if the nail breaks off it will um, that's worse than if you get the quick I know don't worry and I try to move quick to get it over with um, all right come here Sometimes I'll hold their head in my arm and it's not hurting them. It's actually keeping them more calm. Oh, honey. Come here. 
Give me this foot. No, give me this foot. It's okay. I know, it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. I'm going to turn her around, do the other side, if she'll let me. She might be getting kind of hot in the sun too. Rabbits are cold weather animals, so we do have our um, hutch set up in the shade for that reason. Good girl, you're doing better with this side. Good girl. That's a girl. Good job. Yeah. And you can talk to them while you do this. And you know, it's especially nice as if they get a treat. So, should we get you some arugula? <laughs> She might want a little arugula treat while we're doing this. <laughs> Is that better? Is that better? Just making sure I'm getting all these nails clipped. I saw a trick once where you can um, use fishnet stockings and pull the hair back away from the nail. Um, and so that's a really good trick if you're worried about um, not being able to see through the fur. Okay, now give me this big foot. Give it to me. There we go. Good girl. Eat your arugula. Eat your arugula. That's good. Poor thing. She's not used to this yet. There. We're doing fine. I know. I know. We're gonna let you run around after this too because then you get to, then you'll get to um, get all of your little jitters out. Okay. Oh, honey. Come here. Here. Give me this foot. Oh. Not gonna let me do it. a wiggly worm today so I might try another method 
They really, really hate being flipped on their back, but she's just being so squirmy that I'm just gonna try it and see if I can keep her. <sighs> Come here, you. Woo! All right, we'll take a break. It's okay. Have I hurt you at all? I haven't hurt you. get this one though. Come on. Shh, let me get it. Got them all. Oh. These ones on the inside of their um, paws are the hardest ones. The front paws have five nails. So just got to make sure that you get all of that. All right. Let's just. All right, I'm sorry. This is how you say you're sorry to a rabbit. You touch noses with them. I'm sorry. So we're all, we're all done with that. I'm gonna get her um, fifth nail um, in a couple of days. She seems kind of hot and stressed out. So we'll finish up those last couple of nails in a couple of days when she's calmed down. So that's it for nail clipping and ears for the bunnies. I'm gonna do the other two off camera. Okay.